Well hello there and welcome back you lovely lot. Today we've got a firework design. I thought bonfire night's coming up, I need to do something. And I love fireworks, they're so pretty. Bright light, bright light. I know, I know, I just can't resist. Anyway, I'm prepping my hand, so I thought you might like to see what I do. So I put the stiletto tips in and I cut off the end. And then what I do is I come in with the file. And what I do is, with these tips, it's got a slight, it bows out slightly. A stiletto to me is a straight line. When it bows out, it looks more a almond shape, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, so what I do is I file it into shape, then I buff it over, and this way the acrylic or gel, whatever I'm going to use, will stick to that surface because otherwise it's it's just a shiny smooth surface and it just floats around all over the place so I find that just a quick buff over and to get those sides nice um, gives me a nice platform then to work on so I'm going to dust off all the dust and today we're doing a gel design so I'm going to come in with base coat now we've got a lot of coats going on this for that reason I am working super, super thin, okay? So the base coat is going to be super thin, really, really thin. I'm going to do this on all five nails. So I'll put it on and then I'm going over and I'm taking it off again. Just need a nice thin layer on which I can work. So I do that, pop that into the lamp for a full cure. Then I'm coming in with a black gel polish. This one is OPI and it's 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 a great coverage. I'd like to have the Madame Glam one, but um, I don't have that. So I use what I have and I have OPI. I got a lot of OPI when I first started out. Um, I got a few Madame Glams, but the, it has to come from the US. So, uh, so I tended to go for OPI. Anyway, I'm showing you just two nails. You don't need to see all five. And you've also seen me do this before in other gel videos, but I always, always go round the edge with a detailer brush to make sure I have a nice, smooth, cuticle line that comes down. So I've just got my palette there and wiping off any excess. Anything on the skin, there was a tiny, tiny bit there, so just quickly get it off. Anyway, I uh, load up the brush, go around the edges on both the nails, and then what I do is come in with the gel polish brush again, and I'll just smooth that over. So I've not got any lines or any any steps or anything from where the thick, it's a tiny bit thicker with the detailer brush when you go around the edge, obviously. So I just go in with that brush, Again, really keeping it thin just keeping it thin I'm just you can see how much I'm taking off there, and I don't really want to take it off I just want to smooth it out so I give that full cure and then I do a, another coat of black so two coats of black full cure in between each coat now I'm going in with a top coat and this is so that I can chrome these nails so again, super, super thin. I'm working so thin. I don't want a bulky nail. I don't want to lose that shape. And I have got fluff galore. I mean, it's like, really? So anyway, I try and get it all out, but it's a complete pain. So anyway, a thin layer of top coat, and then I give this another full kill. So I'm going to give that a full cure and then these little babies here, I'm going to come in with some chrome and some flakes over the non-wipe top coat. So I'm going to put a different colour on each. So I'll give that a good rub. So I'm going to come in with this is What's Up. Nails um, chrome. So I'm going to do that on the first two fingers. I will list everything below for you. Now, I'm not bothered about 
the coverage you know in the fact that it's got to be smooth and shiny and all the rest of it because we're going to stamp over it so this is a base for the fireworks that's what i'm looking for really and then i'm going to come in with these flakes i thought it might give a different look in the fact that it can catch the light and you can have more sparkly bits rather than a smooth finish so i quite like that idea and i like the effect it was giving so i did that on the other three nails now these flakes that i've got here and the ones on the middle finger are from aliexpress and again i thought i would rub that in and then i've got the combination of the smooth and the small chunky flakes that tend to sit on that non-white top coat surface so you can see why i've had to do lots and lots of layers so i do this then i brush off all those flakes and powders and then i've got another top coat so again really really thin because we're not finished so all the time i'm working i am conscious of the amounts of layers that have got to go on there so what I do is a very thin layer of top coat, zap that in the lamp for a full cure and then slightly buff over. Now we're coming in with the stamping. So I am using Nail Dot Supplies New Year's Eve plate that's got lots of fireworks and big bangs on there. I am going to go in with a black stamping polish and I'll put that down first on all the nails. Don't worry, you'll see it all on the next one. So I've done a couple of the nails there. So the, th the third nail, I'm coming in with that big one. So I put a generous amount just at the top. I don't need to cover all of it. Scrape it off, roll it, pick it up, press that against to get it off, put it on the nail where I want it. I've decided to use half on the middle finger. And there's a little bit left, I'm gonna show you, that's it. I like that and I think that fit perfect on the little finger. So again, put it on, roll, done. Clean up the plates. Now I'm coming in with a silver. It's a metallic hollow. I'll show it you in a minute, but this is it. So what I am going to do is put it over what I've just stamped. So I'm doing the silver over the black. So I'm doing a layered stamping effect for that firework. So I've got one here, take off any excess I don't want. And I'm gonna go over that black on the pointer finger. And it just highlights the firework. So as you move the nail, the hollow in that stamping polish um, comes through. So lovely press any off any excess now I'm going to do this upside down so I decide turn it round press roll off done there's a little tiny one and I think oh that would be like a bit of excess you know as it falls down the firework falls down from the sky I love it it's only a tiny one but it would be perfect on that tip I'm like, yes. Press, roll, off. Done. So I'm just checking that. So I'm really happy with all that stamping. So I tidy all that away. That gives the time for the fireworks to um, set. And then I come in and float the very last top coat. So that's it then guys this is the end of the video i really hope you've enjoyed it today if you have please take a moment and hit that thumbs up if you're not subscribed already i would absolutely love it if you would as always everything will be in the description box below there's a clip at the end to show you everything for what we've done for the last hour so it's it's lovely i really really like it look at that look at the hollow 
Look at the chrome. I oh, love it. Anyway, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed it too. Thanks for joining in. Until next time, bye.